Council have several items to visit with you about this evening. The first of these is an update on the Animal Welfare Expansion Project. As you can see, this project is now underway. Uh, the contractor is Shiloh Enterprises. They've completed the uh, demolition of the old driveway on the west side and also that gate has been removed. And they're now working on uh, installing the footings for the new part of the shelter. Uh, the under slab utility work uh, is scheduled to take place during the next several weeks. And then when that's completed, they'll actually pour the slab. Uh, just as a reminder, you approved this contract in May uh, for $3.275 million. All of the funding for this project comes from the 2017 repurposed capital improvement sales tax. And also as a reminder, this project addresses a long-standing need for additional kennel space. We've had that need almost since the other facility opened. Uh, with this project, we'll add approximately 45 additional kennels to the current 22 that we have to meet uh, both current and future animal housing needs. Uh, the project also includes a remodel of the current facilities uh, to better accommodate our operational requirements. So the project's underway. Uh, the construction time frame is roughly a year. So they're, they're off and running. We have several uh, things we want to talk about pertaining to downtown this evening. Uh, on your agenda, you'll be looking at a commercial site plan for the rail spur development. Uh, I want to talk about a few others uh, at this time. Uh, some new downtown development, the two activities actually in the block of 5th Street between Broadway and Littler. Uh, the first of those is the Park 17 project. As you can see, uh, the grant group is constructing this project. It's a mixed use development. Uh, it will include commercial uses on the first floor and residential living spaces on the second and third floors. Uh, the building will include uh, 5,275 uh, square feet of retail on the, the uh, lower level and 17 multifamily units on the upper two floors. Uh, and Nashbird Restaurant has recently been announced as one of the business activities that will take place on the first floor. Uh, completion of this project is scheduled for uh, by November 1st this fall. And the other companion project with that is streetscape parking. Uh, this parking is being constructed along both sides of 5th Street in that area to help accommodate both this new development and also the need for additional parking around Stevenson Park. Uh, the project will provide stormwater improvements, uh, new landscaped areas, and 20 additional parking spaces. It also creates an attractive gateway from Broadway to the commercial activity that is adjacent to Stevenson Park as well. Uh, Arturo Martinez is the contractor for this project and it will be completed prior to the opening of Park 17. The cost of this uh, project is $417,000 and the funding comes from the 2000 capital improvement sales tax. Uh, another redevelopment project I'd like to talk about is the rail yard project. Uh, this project involves the conversion of the former downtown lumber yard into a new retail office and food experience area across from Festival Market. There will be six different restaurants that will occupy this space. Uh, with the first of those scheduled to open this week, uh, it's our understanding that uh, Hot Wings uh, by the owner of Eddie's will open this week and they'll specialize in wings. So uh, the remaining restaurants will open sometime during this fall period that's coming up. A uh, large mural is also being painted in, in the area by uh, one of the local artists, Christopher Canale, and that'll be located in what you see there is an outdoor dining area. Uh, that is a partnership project with the Edmund Visual Arts Commission. Uh, it'll feature a theme of travel, adventure, and having a good time. The mural cost is about $18,800 and it will be equally shared uh, with the property developer. The rail yard will also have public access from the north side of the building. 
the city will be replacing the alley on the north side and making some repairs uh, in the adjacent parking lot that's off Main Street. Funding for these improvements will come from, also come from the 2000 capital improvement sales tax. Uh, the estimated cost is $135,000 and the work is being done by ATEC Paving. And the last area I want to visit with you about this evening is an update on sales and use taxes. We now have our first two checks of the current fiscal or budget year. Uh, we continue to trend very positively on both revenue sources. Uh, sales tax was up 7.3% uh, from last August. In cumul cumulative now for the first two months, it's up 5.6% for the first two months. Use taxes were up over 50% from a year ago and cumulatively 45% uh, for the first two months. Uh, these totals also, I think it's important to remember that they're comfortably above our budget projections. We budgeted 2% growth in sales tax in this budget year and 5% growth uh, in use tax. The combined sales and use tax revenue totals are, are up almost 12%, 11.8% above last year for the first two months, so uh, we're in very good shape. Uh, we also continue to be at the top of our seven city comparison group that we look at uh, every month uh, concerning sales tax collection. So very good news on the financial end too, Mayor, and with that, that concludes my report.